Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we're going to take a look at the topic, what does the sun want you to know? And I've taken all the sun cards out from the Vedic Astrology deck. The link is below if you want to find out more about that deck. But I'm going to draw one of these for each group. And before I do that, I've got a couple of little introductory things to talk about. So you're very welcome if you want to go straight to your reading, group one, group two, or group three. Or if you'd like to stick around, a couple of little bitty bits. One of them is that I am going to sell this deck. This is the, I think it's a 49 card. It's the Inner Planets Only. It's shrink-wrapped, as you can see. And I'll sell this on my website, a very heavily discounted price. So you will be able to get your hands on this. As you can see, I haven't opened it. I just bought this because I wanted to make sure that that cover image turned out okay. So this will be a bargain on my website for anyone who wants to pick that up. And I am also going to sell this beautiful deck as well, which I have never used. Have I used it on the channel? I'm not sure. I have used this, which is the same. But it's, um, this is Stoic Tarot as well, but this is the one that comes in the box. And the one that comes in the box, I'll show you, it has this background here. And I was going to use this one on the channel, but then I thought I really probably should just use this one on the channel because this is the one I think people are more likely to buy. But anyway, I'm selling this um, for a heavily discounted price on my website. So those of you who are interested, this is a 78 card tarot deck. It features standard tarot, uh, as you can see here. Um, so six of pentacles, you know, it also features the astrological, uh, the corresponding astrological thing that's going on. <laughs> and we've got a quote from uh, one of the ancient Stoics that reflects a little bit of wisdom you know it can be nice to have quotes in a reading because you know these great legendary ancient people are offering their wisdom and uh, i love stuff like that so yeah so you can pick up either of these on the website and today for uh, the wisdom bites i don't have the jar as you can see i'm going to bring the jar back i have decided i'm like no i, I miss it too much um, but what I did pick up was this book, Marcus Aurelius Meditations. So I was walking to the park with my mum and there's like this house that's near us. I really love the people who live there because they make their own honey and um, we've bought honey from them several times. And one of the things they have on their property is they've got this uh, library and it's just this box that's under a tree and it's got heaps of books in there. And I was poking around and I saw this and I thought, oh, how cool. And I picked it up and it kind of reminds me of my Stoic Wisdom deck. It's got Marcus Aurelius in here a lot. So I thought what we could do for wisdom today is we could just use this as an oracle and just kind of like flip through and like I'll just close my eyes or something and like pick one and okay so that one's clearly pretty long so we wouldn't do that but maybe like <laughs> I'll go again let's see I'll do this blindfolded now I'll try that okay that see that that could be really great and I could read that out who knows I mean I don't know we'll be guided we'll find out this is a one-off experiment let's try it let's try using a book as an oracle I've also got for wisdom bits um, at the end these quote cards so we do have quotes from very wise people all right well feel free to choose your reading oh and I also wanted to thank one of my wonderful viewers um, thank you so much he sent a donation thank you thank you thank you with all my heart and um, you mentioned that you've just completed your PhD thesis and I wanted to congratulate you I wanted to say well done good on you and we've got such amazing people in this group we've got people look at that who are doing PhDs we've got one of you I know who's based in Switzerland and you're you know revolutionizing education across an entire continent we've got people who are writing books we've got you know and we've got many fellow tarot readers here we've got Reiki practitioners here we've got all kinds of wonderful people and hopefully this Sun episode is going to inspire you to be more creative than ever and yeah I just want to thank all of you for being so amazing such an amazing audience to read for all right well I look forward to seeing you in your reading 
Hi there group number one. If you chose group number one then you are in the right place. Before we shuffle from these let's take one of these. I'm also going to get an art oracle I think and one of these Sufi wisdom. I kind of don't know what we're doing. Let's make it up as we go along shall we? <laughs> All right let's take these and we're going to take we'll just take I've got so many decks here we'll just take various Bits. We'll see what comes through. All right. and this is the Art Oracles deck and the Sun is all about our soul, expression, who we are deep inside, and what it is, what it is that we've come here to share with the world. What have you come to give? Very often that's uh, we can get clues to that from the sun in our charts. Let's take that one. Let's see what else do we want. What, do, what other cards do we want to pick here? Um, let's take one of these. This is new. This is, I'll show you what this is, this is beautiful. Seeds of Shakti. This is just gorgeous. Look at the, the printing on this is out of this world. So I'm going to try and figure out what printer was used here because this is another handmade deck and I would love to use the printer whoever did this it's really great okay why don't we take one of these and then we can draw some tarot as well so I have one of these just start with one and then we'll draw some tarot okay so let's see what's going on so what does the sun want you to know? Wow, sun in the first house. What a terrific start. You're group number one and you got sun in the first house. That's incredible. So you are the center of attention. Yeah, may in experience inflammation. Same as Mars in the first house can experience that too. It's a very hot, uh, fiery planet in the first house of the phys physical body. Okay, so such people can have more of a fiery constitution can be difficult to get close to yeah how do you hug the sun how do you you know sometimes the sun isn't uh, easy to get to know Let's see leader noble educated ego yes has ego that's true okay good so the sun wants you to know straight away that you are well that you deserve to be the center of attention Number one, right? That's that's the first message we've got there. Piet, Piet Mondrian. Okay. Logic should come from the heart. Wow. True simplicity takes a lot of concentration. Yes. Find utopia in a straight line. Ooh, I like that. That's great. Okay, good. what do we have here ending a trauma wow transform memories and symptoms okay so group number one you're possibly going through quite a time of change at the moment Let's see we'll take this all right four of swords you need to rest you need time out and especially that's coming after see I think I drew that first but I'm looking at this first and there is a strong message here of rest you need some space some time perhaps is not the time to be starting anything new I also think that this card has come in and the sun wants you to know that you need to simplify maybe your life or possibly something that you're working on or that you're creating are you able to take a step back sometimes four of swords we can see this as a rest card but you you could even you know when you're in this restful place you can be revisualizing things in your life your creative projects what it is your you know what it is you're working on this could be a time to rethink things simplify simplify life and consider yourself maybe you've been thinking for everybody else maybe your whole life you've just been 
giving, giving, giving to everyone else, thinking of everyone else's needs, but you haven't stopped and thought about, well, who am I? And am I spending my life force on me? We need to do that. We need to take a step back and, and look at these things sometimes. All right, good, good start, group number one. All right, and we've got, oh, Buddha, excellent. So we've got this beautiful green color here, which is Mercury. So we've got sun and Mercury energy present. Without acknowledging the shadows, enlightenment is elusive. Wow. And this is really tapping into this ending a trauma card here where, where I think you have been doing shadow work. And shadow work is elusive. It can be exhausting. Okay, It can be physically exhausting. And it's amazing because you think, well, you know, shadow work, I've just been, it feels like I've been doing nothing. But no, you have actually been doing very profound work within your nothingness. Like an outsider will look at your life and go, we haven't been doing anything, <laughs> right? But they have no idea what kind of profound work you have been doing, going through your shadow self. And you've been going through your shadow self to find this, to find the light. Look at that great big sunshine that's coming out of your first house. This is showing the gifts that are going to, the, the many gifts. Once you do your shadow work, there are heaps of gifts under there. And you start to get ideas and you start to get excited about things again. Just today I had an idea come to me and it, it was about something I want to do next year. And I was thinking, oh, I'd love to do that. And it was actually an old idea that I had in my university days. And I thought, wow, I could bring that concept back and I could do this and I could do that. And all these, this creativity started happening and I was like, wow. And I have been doing a bit of shadow work, I think in the last, yeah, maybe two weeks. Just have that. And it's sort of, you know, a weekend comes and you get to deal with stuff, don't you, you know? And um, yeah, I feel like some of you have been definitely doing a lot of incredible work dealing with your shadow quite possibly. Let's take a look with tarot and just see what comes here. Okay, so what I want to ask? I want to ask about this ending a trauma card. What shadow work have you been doing? Have a look at what shadow work have you been doing and we're going to have a look at what gifts are there for you. What shadow work have you been doing? Yeah, Nine of Swords, you have been doing your shadow work. Group number one, incredible. This could be to do with a family situation. This could be to do with, you know, and look at this, we are seeing that this character here is feeling regret. Maybe he's feeling terrible. Maybe he's feeling, wow, why did I leave? Or why didn't I, you know, why didn't I do the right thing? I think this shadow work you've been doing, maybe you've been being quite hard on yourself. In a relationship, you know, it takes two to tango and two parties uh, are usually equally at fault, amazingly. it's Because uh, when you dig deeper and you look, I've, I've been reading Chuck Spezzano's book, uh, the intro to the next book, because I'm like, I'm flying through these books of his. And anyway, he said that, yeah, when there's an argument between a couple, he says that, you know, um, you're both probably equally at fault. It might seem like, oh, I'm in the right. They might be like, well, I'm in the right. But you're actually probably reflecting back to each other two sides of the same energy. Like, and so when you let go of being hard on either yourself or on the other person, when you forgive yourself or the other person, or you do both, you forgive both or whatever that is, a lot of all of this will release under that and you might reconcile with this person and you'll have a new le level, level of love, new gifts, new renewed everything. It can be amazing, all right? So you're in this shadow phase. Let's see, let's ask one more card about this and we'll see what gifts lie underneath all of this. 
there is a thing of simplicity here. I think that's why he has come up. Because look at the artwork here. It's very... Um, I love this kind of thing. It's just boxy and neutral and, f you know, flat lines and there's not much going on. I like this kind of thing a lot. Some people think that's not art, but I don't know how I do. <laughs> so, yeah. But let's see. Because people think, oh, well, I could have made that. But, yeah. Hmm, I wonder what's in that concept. That's, again, being hard on oneself. See, because for some people, sim the simplest things are really beautiful. It doesn't have to be complicated. Mercury might want to make things complicated. The mind wants to make things complicated. But, yeah. Yeah. Let's see, let's see what we've got. So we want one more about what the shadow work. Let's get some more information here. The tower, okay, yeah, big change. Right, so there is a lot of change in your world. And I'll tell you something, when I came to studying astrology, I was telling this to my mum the other day. I was saying to her, thank God for astrology. And I said to her that if I didn't know certain things about the transits that I'm running right now, I could be so depressed like I could be here in this nine of swords I could be yeah I could totally be like be you know and every now and then I get down and whatever but like everyone does like because emotions are just they're always in flux they're always and we mustn't attach our identity or ego to that or think well that is me no emotions are just always going up and down so because those are the waves, right? But I was telling my mum that, thank God I, I know astrology and I know the transits I'm in because I know that this time will come to an end. And not that I'm in a bad time. I'm certainly not in a bad time. I'm having a good time. But like, um, if I didn't know that the time would, I mean, would come to an end, like, I could be depressed, right? And I can tell you that this cycle of shadow work it might feel like you've been in it for months or years or it might feel really long but i tell you there's an end date okay and astrology has been so illuminating for me because it has shown me there is always an end date and there is always a very good transit on the horizon and i have had people come to me who you know they're going through really really tough stuff and they have genuinely felt better uh, knowing that, you know, and it might be that their really good time is coming in a few years. I mean, you might have to wait a while, but it's worth the wait. Because let's explore these gifts. What's coming? What's great? What is, what is coming? You're doing, and I'm getting the word, yeah, you're to be commended. It's very commendable, like the inner shadow work that you're doing. You're doing it and you're doing great. So that's wonderful. And I think that message, yeah, would probably be coming from the sun. Because this is like, what does the sun want you to know? What gifts, what great bright lights, gifts is hiding underneath all this shadow that you are going to eventually tap? I'm getting that visual of like the treasure and the tunnel. And like, you know, it's like, don't stop just before you get to the treasure kind of thing. You don't know. It could just be very close by. So what great gifts, what treasures... What's, what's wonderful? All right, five of coins. Well, an end to this for a start, okay? So this is showing that, sure, you're here, but what's inside that church or what's inside that building, it is gold, it is glorious, it's warm, it's wonderful, it's love, it's, you know, everything, right? So, okay. By the way, one of you mentioned that this is um, based on a Russian style of uh, illustration. Thank you for letting me know that. That was an amazing bit of detail to learn. The Hanged Man. Okay. Do you know, we've still got more shadow energy coming. Let me take another one for what gifts are coming. Yeah, Ace of Cups. It's So you see, look at that. We had a little bit more shadow before we got to this. All right. So I can tell you that whatever you're going through, it will come to an end, but there might be a bit more of it to do. I might even put this here because this kind of does match here. What you're working towards 
is you fully being, embodying and being, okay, that's sun in the first house, what you're working towards is you fully embodying and being incredibly loving, just this incredibly loving, all that love that's deep within you is all going to come out, it has to, and lucky the people who are around you, right, the people who are around you who get to experience that, that's going to be their uh, great gift and luck in life okay let's take a couple of quotes um i don't know if we've got time for marcus aurelius he's a bit hardcore let's take one of these <laughs> i'm not sure what he's gonna offer this this reading he might be appropriate in another group okay we've got this one and we'll take this one as well all right what have we got what have we got oh we've got some Mahatma gandhi and we've got albert hubbard okay let's let's go for this one first there is more to life than simply increasing its speed fantastic and that's mercury we've got mercury here so you got to slow down you got to simplify take it easy this thing will take time okay it'll take a little bit more time but it's okay because you've got amazing amazing things coming on the horizon and we've got here I would rather be able to appreciate things I cannot have than to have the things I'm not able to appreciate. This is quite interesting. I would rather. This is quite interesting and I like this quote. I would rather be able to appreciate the things I cannot have than to have the things I'm not able to appreciate. I think this is about, and this could be about people, this could be about having more of the more appropriate people around you um so i get that uh i would rather be able to appreciate things I, but you know what this this is focusing you into the energy of appreciation and from this shadowy place if you can find more time to appreciate and it doesn't have to be people it can be just things spend more time in the energy of appreciation and gratitude and this hanged man thing should start to change as well. There needs to be a bit more, um, yeah, you, we want more, a little bit more light in this situation. So, and then you will discover that you are transforming the situation and then you can uh, transform it quite rapidly. Ah, speed, yes, see, but do you want to <laughs> rapidly uh, resolve it? Yeah, that's a, that's a question. That's a question you'll need to answer. All right, well, group number one, thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you're in the right place. Before I take one of these, or some of these, uh, Let's see what the sun has to say to you or wants to say to you. What message does the sun have for you? I don't know how I'm going to write this in the title below, but I will figure it out when that time comes. I haven't thought that far ahead. Why don't we shuffle one of these next? These are beautiful. These are the seeds of Shakti Oracle. How beautiful. They are so nicely printed. Gold foiling, look at that. It's real, oh, it's just beautiful. Love good printing. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go, take that one. Uh, now what's gonna be next? We'll take one of these. I hope your week is going well, wherever you are. Because we're working with the sun today, I've got the Art Oracle deck out, which I'll shuffle from now. This is a fun Oracle deck, I must say. It is, it's very interesting. Oh, oh no, okay. Yes, this one popped out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> dropping cards um what else do I want I want one of these as well and then we are ready to go so what does the sun want to say to you sun in the 12th all right illuminates secrets what's beyond the veil 
you might have trouble with sleep this is so true i know in my consultations when i've worked with people yes sun in the 12th definitely people can be light sleepers trouble with sleep weak eyesight might be immoral well that's if it's afflicted and stuff like that so yeah might feel neglected distance in relationship with father you know you can feel quite far away from people and things right so we've got the first house here which is you sometimes it, there might be a feeling of you're far away from yourself isn't that something interesting so let's see let's see what the sun would want to say but i mean maybe the sun has turned up here to say that you're ready to see what's beyond the veil maybe you're ready to discover some new things about yourself could also be saying hey take a take a trip <laughs> you know have a holiday have a retreat enjoy yourself this can be a thing of you know the sun is here saying relax enjoy some entertainment enjoy some escapism watch a pick a card reading right <laughs> you're, you're definitely in the right spot so i think the sun is already saying you're in the right place right now enjoying tarot okay Oh, Georgia O'Keefe. Okay. Nature can keep a secret. Oh my gosh, we've just been talking about secrets. That's amazing. Illuminate secrets. Right. Keep Freud guessing. Mm. You can't run away from yourself. But wow, but running away from others can be quite productive. That is the message. <gasps> That's amazing. Oh, and we've just had, we've just got neighbors mowing their lawn. I don't know if that's coming up on the recording. I apologize. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Cleaning up. Mowing the lawn is a cleaning up kind of activity, isn't it? Getting organized. Maybe there's a getting organized message here. But as I, as I was saying, like you might feel far away from yourself. It says here, you can't run away from yourself, but running away from others can be quite productive. This is isolation. This is exactly what I was sort of trying to get to but I wasn't very good at getting to it but yeah that, that this is it you can't run away from yourself but running away from others can be quite productive you need some time alone that's what I'm seeing that will benefit you at this time uh, and that's what I'm saying like a trip or something or you know, maybe to get some alone time you can just what I do is I disappear I go to the beach for a day and things like that sometimes <laughs> I haven't done that for a while oh happy life wow live a less guarded life you know this is an interesting card because it says happy life but we do have to look at her face i mean she's not looking she's looking kind of um i've got the word wistful coming into my mind i would like to look that up i don't know it's interesting okay also, she looks like she's blooming. She looks like she's a flower. Nature. See, that's what... Because nature can keep a secret. It's like she's looking back at something. Maybe something that she wanted or would like, but... Yeah, I don't know. That thing never happened or came to her or whatever I don't know okay let's see Ooh, judgment mm, yeah that can be like a 12th house sort of a thing maybe like because that's the end of the zodiac that's kind of the end of the hero's journey maybe you've come to the end of something maybe that's what you're looking back on I've got a sort of looking back sort of feeling here okay and this is a looking back. This is a review. This is a review of you. This is a review of what you've done. Anahata. Anahata. The heart is a mirror. Allow love to be reflected. Wow. I've got this beautiful green. The heart. There's quite a lot of emotion here. A lot of feeling and maybe it is that you do live a happy life but that you just might feel there's something missing 
Is there something missing? Let's take a look at that. Nine of Swords, Fear. Wow, yeah, we had this just in the last group. And it's something that... These are the thoughts that keep you up at night or the worry thoughts, the anxiety thoughts, the thoughts that haven't been able to be processed. You just haven't been able to process them. Maybe because there's... Sometimes it's because there's a bit too much. Okay. You can't run away from yourself, but running away from others can be quite productive. It's like there's some time out needed. And I'm kind of getting that could be from time out needed from family. Is kind of what I'm seeing here. Because we've got here distance in relationship with father. This, this can be a bit of a family type thing. Because this is also the heart. This is the people we love. And this is kind of, I feel like this is a message of finding yourself. Uh, let others be. Because we're, we're, this is the sun. The sun saying, you know, you be you. And if you have to go away to do that, you might need to go away. Let's take one. The hermit, yeah, look at that. Alone time. You need alone time. You need time on your own. Yeah, so that's that's good. Take that take that time on your own. And I think this this will get you give you space in which to review everything. And then some of this anxiety will start to just die down. As you get to shine your light shine you, the bright light that is you as you just, just go look through the memories the feelings the the recent past i'm kind of getting yeah recent past as you shine your light on it kindly compassionately right happy life because that's you deep down that's your essence that's your core that's who you are and you're looking with your mind but at the same time you're also looking with your heart and my, my energy medicine teacher, Deborah King, she talked about this. She talked about that like you, you have a point um, when you look at something like a memory, you're looking with your, yes, your third eye and you're also looking with like the eyes of your heart. So there's two lines of looking, one from the third eye and one from the heart. I'm kind of using my body, but I'm realizing <laughs> my body's not on the screen. Um, and there's like, so yeah, let's say she's looking at this point she's looking with yes her mind but her heart as well so when you're looking at something with these two then things will start to resolve and if you only look with your mind then the thoughts might keep circling but when if you start to put your heart energy as you look then things can just and you st you just give love to the situations to the people things will start to just calm down and release it, it's amazing i learned a technique by um stuart wilde uh this was i was listening to one of his audios and he said if there's a difficult person in your life it could be a family member something like this he said breathe them in so see them visually breathe them in and then as you breathe out breathe out that you're sending them love and you see that picture of them really light up with bright light and he said do that 11 times so breathe in once and then breathe out love and light breathe in another time breathe out love and light and just do it 11 times it doesn't take long i did it last night these things are helpful these things really do work um, and I did observe, uh, yeah, some changes already. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love experimenting with these things. I find they're amazing. Let's see. Let's see what other guidance comes through. Let's just ask for what 
what does the sun want us to know? What do we need to know here? Because the sun, you see, light. I think we've got two messages. We'll take this one as well. Eight of Cups retreat. Wow, I mean, that could not be more... Oh, that is amazing. All right, strong message here. You need alone time. You need to... Eight of Cups, right? Oh, the camera's blinking as well. The camera's about to go out. And then we've got the Queen of Discs. This is you. Nurture, nurture, nature. This is you. So you're fundamentally fantastic. Queen of Discs, Queen of Pentacles, all right? Fundamentally, you're going to be okay. But I feel like... There's some situation that you're in that basically you just need some time out from. Um, the camera is about to cut out. Apologies about that. The camera battery was flashing like crazy, so I just decided to stop it. But I had a couple of thoughts come in while the camera was stopped, and that was... Yeah, that you were fundamentally okay. And it's kind of like after this time of rest and recharge, you're going to be more focused, more able to be creative. It will happen with ease. Like, and that's what you want to look for with creativity. You want it to just happen with ease. So currently I've got this master's episode that I really want to do. And I just haven't found the block of time or the space or the ease or the flow. Or, and it's there, it's queued up in me it's ready to go a whole bunch of lines are being written in my head and I just need to sit down and write it all and make it I just haven't done that so I feel like maybe there's some creativity that you've got that is kind of waiting to come through but it needs you need to go through a little bit of this time first oh and I don't know if you can hear the wind there wow that's powerful I might close the door actually because it's very windy whoa Let's see what other guidance comes through. <coughs> so maybe that wind has come to just blow something away. King of Cups, wow. <coughs> mm. Apologies, there, group one with the coughing. I don't know what that is about. The coughing, the throat chakra. Maybe there is a, a masculine in your life. It could be, and look, it could be a father, it could be brother it could be a partner it could be a friend you know boss at work but there's so, it's like maybe I think he's someone you might need some time out from um, I should put him here all right well let's see what quotes we get Do you know this will be I think this will be a good one for Marcus Aurelius let's use the book as a an oracle shall we so I've got my eyes closed right now and okay I've got this page and I'm going to point my finger here Okay, there we go. I'll read it. It's number 42. It's quite long. Let's go for it. We all work together to the same end, some with conscious attention, others without knowing it. Just as Heraclitus, I think, says that even people asleep are workers in the factory of all that happens in the world. Fascinating, because we've got the 12th house of sleep here. Whoops, no, it's not focusing. Here we go. Yes, the 12th house of sleep. Oh, it's definitely not focusing. Oh my gosh. And is that rain? Oh, it is. Oh no. And the laundry. It's on the line. Oh. Well, this is a stormy reading. <laughs> I'm concerned about the laundry as well. I'm so sorry. Group number. Mm. There are all these concerns. We all work together to the same end, some with conscious attention, others without knowing it. Even people asleep are workers in the factory of all that happens in the world. One person contributes in this way, another in that. And there is room even for the critic who tries to oppose or destroy the production. The world had need for him too. Wow, maybe this King of Cups guy is trying to stop I don't know, maybe you feel like you can't be your full self around this guy. Um, you can't, because this is sun, creativity, you expressing yourself. And maybe this person stops you from doing that. So it remains for you to decide in which category you place yourself. Certainly he who governs the whole will may, the whole, ah, 
Certainly he who governs the whole will make good use of you and welcome you in some part of the joint workforce. But just make sure that your part is not that of the cheap and vulgar line in the comedy. Wow, as noticed by Chrysippus. Hmm, this does feel like a work type situation. And I kind of feel like you're coming up against a block. You're coming up against some kind of blockage, some kind of, you know, and this controller of the game and who wants people to be asleep, so like s sleepwalking in his factory or whatever. This feels like a work thing. I don't know. It could be a family member as well. But there's some figure in your life where you can't be yourself fully. What's awaiting you is amazing, okay? This is turning out to be a long reading. It's because I, um, I refreshed the memory card. You're just going to get a long reading, group two. Oh, let's take one more for the Queen of Pentacles. What, what? Let's just have some more information there. And I'll get another quote from the quotes thing. Death, yeah, all right. So you're going through some kind of death and rebirth thing. And it's some cycle is going to come to a close. And it's what it's going to do is when it releases... When it releases, you're this. You're this queen of pentacles. Your creativity is going to come online. You're going to be birthing some project, some new thing. You're going to be more focused than ever before. Just a little bit of stuff to go through at the moment. Let's take one of these and then we'll close this one up. And who knows, I might, I might go and get the laundry, but <laughs> I think I'll leave it. Look at that. I think the laundry is part of this reading because I'm, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it and it's sunny tomorrow. And it's something like that. It's like something where you might have to, you got to carve out some time. You have to leave it. All these tiny little messages, see? And the sun's going to come out tomorrow. And it, it literally is over here in Sydney. And I know those clothes are going to dry, so I'm not worried. And it's like, whatever thing you're leaving, Fundamentally, you're not worried. You're the queen of pentacles, right? You're, you're fundamentally not worried. You know that it's fine. You know that there's time. You know that you can just leave it and that you can go back and it'll all be fine and something like this. Let's see what we've got here. Meister Eckhart, fantastic. If the only prayer you said was thank you, that would be enough. Again, we've got a message of gratitude, kind of like group number one it's like if you just look and that, that's this queen of pentacles here if you look at your life if you look at yourself if you look at your inner gifts your inner strength what's great about you and that it could just be your smile you know and it probably is the energy of a smile is just so powerful your smile might be just the most incredible thing in the world and that alone might be transforming people's lives, you know. So be grateful for that. Uh, group number two, this has been such a beautiful reading. I want to thank you for being here. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'm sorry it was so scattered and up and down and the storm came and the wind and the laundry and this and that. It's, it's very unprofessional, but we must, uh, you know, take everything. That's the Jyoti Shui, right? You know, the sound of the bird, the honk of the horn of the car and you know the little lizard that <laughs> goes on the wall or whatever right wherever you are i know in um, bali my friends have got lizards on their wall all the time so whatever it is you got to incorporate it into the reading so take what messages resonate and discard the rest all right well thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three then you are in the right place and before we draw one of these, we're going to see what does the sun want to say to you. So we'll draw from the sun cards. Well, I've just come out of group number two. That was interesting. That was quite, <laughs> quite a hectic reading, guys. <laughs> I was like, I just closed the door as well. I'm like, oh. So the lawnmower has switched off because there's too much rain. The laundry is probably soaked and and it's all go. Let's see. <laughs>
What do I want? That's what I want. I want one of these. Apologies, group number three. You probably think I've lost my mind. <laughs> I'm talking about laundry. If you were in group two, you'll know what happened. Basically, it started raining and I got worried about the laundry on the line. Oh, what do you do? See, in England, I don't have that problem at all because I have a dryer and I, well, I just hang stuff up in my place, you know, because I don't want to dry. I don't want to put my nice clothes in the dryer because that's like a really terrible thing to do because it just ruins the clothes. All right. Um, I'm sorry to be discussing such trivial things during this reading. Now, what do we need next? We're going to have one of these. And I can hear the birds chirping again. It's like calm has restored. But honestly, in group two, there was just this few minutes of madness. And it's all calmed down now. Group three, you have a very calming energy. I think that's, it must be your presence here in, here in Sydney, Australia. All right, is there one more? Is that all? Oh yeah, one of these. These are new. These are the Seeds of Shakti Oracle. Loving them. They're handmade, they're utterly beautiful. I'll put a link below. Let's see, we'll take that one. All right, let's take a look at the Sun card, Sun in the Third. Terrific. Oh, this is a really, really great placement. Sun in the Third, Sixth, Tenth, or Eleventh. Upachaya type places, the Sun does really well there. So highly courageous, resourceful mind, not good for siblings if afflicted, excellent and authoritative communicator. <clears throat> it's really interesting, my voice is starting to block up. So group three, this might be indicating you need to speak up to someone. This has been coming up in some of my readings. Actually, I did one reading for one of you yesterday. It was a one and a half hour one. I was very interested to see how my voice would be. That person's throat chakra must be sensational because I was fine for the whole thing. So yeah, but there's someone in this group or something where I can feel my throat chakra is blocking up. Uh, excellent and authoritative communicator rises to the top through self-effort. Brilliant. <coughs> Apologies. I'm, I'm, my, I might cut out the bits where I'm coughing like crazy. Ooh, JMW Turner. Find... The facts in a feeling. Nature does not sit still. The sun will rise whether or not you are there to watch it. Wow. I love that. Turner's English, isn't he? I think so. I'm not very knowledgeable about art. I need to learn more. But I'm pretty sure he, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I need to watch my um, sister Wendy Beckett again. Ooh, speak out, get out. That's crazy. We just had this hit. Yeah, there was a message about you've got to speak up, speak out. Okay, well, it's come again. Love it when that happens. Right, speak out. I've never drawn this card. Communicate and solve the conflicts. Okay, so maybe you need to speak up. And it's interesting, we've got this beautiful green color here. We've got green and pink. Pink is considered the color of the higher heart chakra. Green is, of course, the color of the heart chakra. So higher heart chakra is, and it's interesting because higher heart is in just about this place. It's kind of between the throat chakra and the heart chakra. And the pink color does come, yeah, kind of here. So there's something maybe you need to speak up about. Now, what kind of speaking up is this? It could be something requiring a lot of compassion, a lot of love, it could be to a child, because the higher heart is that nourishing motherly energy. And they've actually done, um, uh, this thing in a in the jail like in a prison where they they did the bars in pink and they did the beds in pink and the sheets in pink and the walls in pink everything was in pink in this prison and what they found was that you know, all the inmates just started healing and people were not re-offending <laughs> so isn't that amazing like this I feel like maybe there's someone in your life that might need your love um, and if you could beam that to them, that might be a really good thing. Got the Eight of Pentacles here, fantastic. So you're working hard, you're doing a lot, great. And I'm getting this kind of message of keep going, you're doing amazing. So that's excellent. You're doing really well with your work, you're, you know, you're doing everything you're meant to be doing. Fish, ooh, love it, love the colors. 
we've had green for all three. Change is inevitable, reinvent to adapt. It's really interesting, we've got green of the heart chakra and we've got the purple of the sixth chakra. Reinvention, right? Re-envisage yourself, reimagine yourself, reimagine your future. I think you're being given a message to say, hey, yes, you do this, whatever this is, but you could do more. You know, you could do more, you could expand, you could, have you ever thought about this? Have you ever thought about that? You know, I think there's some really exciting uh, energies here in your workspace. But let's see who is it that needs your love right now? Who is it that maybe you need to sit and silently meditate? Could be a sibling, okay? It could be a sibling that needs love uh, in your life at the moment, or a cousin, or someone is a friend to you. Maybe there's a friend in your life. Oh, well, I was going to pick up this deck, which is your deck. Was this? No, this is not your deck. Your deck is this one. But I'm also holding this one. So fine, I'll take one of these and one of these. Weird, because I just picked this up with my left hand. And the left is the female side of the body. Isn't that interesting? And we are talking about this high yin, feminine, beautiful energy. So take one of these and we'll take one of these as well because this is actually your deck <laughs> which I have not drawn from so who are we giving this beautiful heart energy to or, or are we doing that let's see it's interesting my throat chakra is cleared up too now good all right so we've got seven of cups okay and the three of wands hmm interesting who are you sending this love to this is going to sound a bit weird but your future i think you're putting your love out into your future because i'm not particularly getting a very clear answer here because the three of wands is the future sometimes we can see that is what ships are coming back in you know and this is so this is the love you put out into the future that will come back to you uh, over time so all very abstract find the facts in a feeling just having a look at this as well the sun will rise whether or not you are there to watch it wow and that's powerful because that the love that you send out into the future whether or not you are there to receive it. Mm. This feels like a I'm kind of getting a no one in particular message. Let's have a look here. I want more information. I definitely want more information now. <laughs> where, where, where are we sending this love to? Or can we have some guidance? And what is this love? You're beaming out some love. You're beaming out this beautiful heart. It could be through your creativity. It could be through your work. Okay, and that's kind of what I am seeing here. Maybe it's to a bigger platform because there's this image here. It's got, yeah, okay, let's see. So... Where are you beaming out this love to? This unconditional love, not, not just unconditional, it's that higher heart, the mother's love, the beautiful feminine yin loving energy. Ten of wands. Well, yeah, to those who are burdened, but it does feel abstract. And this could be the kind of thing where you are, uh, I know we do have people who do tarot, who watch this channel as well with quite a few of you and through tarot videos a lot of people are just sending their love and it's so beautiful so and this could be work related and that that is your work right okay let's have a look at your work let's have a look at what changes? Change is inevitable. Reinvent to adapt. What are you reinventing? What's the future of your work? What work are you doing? Ooh, Five of Swords. Well, you're helping people through their conflicts. You're helping conflicted people. Okay. Perhaps you're the peace bringer or the peacemaker in 
in difficult situations at work. Maybe at work you're always the one that talks a bit of sense or brings a bit of calm to people. What's changing at work? Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Well, so there's some form of work that you do. You're in it for the long haul. There's some form of work that you do or your craft is something that... And it's kind of like, this is a little bit like astrology. I was telling one of you the other day on email how, and I was telling you about, gosh, who was it? Uh, I mentioned Ethan Fox, and it's Ethan, E-T-H-A-N-N, Fox, F-O-X. He's a really good astrologer. He does um, Western and Vedic. And he's been doing it for like 20, 30 years, long, long time. Very brilliant. And he, I loved this. I was watching him one day, and he said, this is the kind of subject where I always feel like a, every day I sit down to do this work, I feel like a beginner every time. And I was just like, yes, I know, I feel the same. <laughs> I was like, because it's too vast, it's too vast to know this subject, you know. And um, maybe that's something about the work you do is, is for the long haul, it's for the long term, it's a kind of work that, you know, it's a craft that you have to master or it's going to take a lot of time. You know, we had, uh, as I mentioned in the intro, the wonderful viewer who sent, sent a donation who's finished his PhD. That's a long haul kind of a thing. It's not an overnight job. So there's some work that you do which you need to commit to for a very long time. So good. That doesn't sound, that, that sounds good. If anything, that sounds like fun, <laughs> you know. Um, Let's see, all right, so let's see what's going on here. Any message for you being in to be highly courageous, resourceful mind? Find the facts in a feeling. Nature does not sit still. Okay, restlessness, are you restless? Let's ask that. Sun will rise whether or not you are there to watch it. Are you restless? What's, what's going on here <laughs> page of swords well you're learning you're learning something new sharpening your intellect you might be you might be being encouraged to learn some new things as part of your work in the world add that next string to your bow learn that next thing Page of Wands. It's quite exciting. There's a lot of newness here. There's a lot of... The energy is really interesting in this reading because it's very abstract. I don't know, is Turner a very abstract sort of a painter? I should look that up. Right, I just actually did look that up. I've got my computer by my side. It records my audio anyway. So I thought, why don't I just quickly look it up? And it says here that Turner was an English romantic painter, printmaker and watercolorist. He is known for his expressive coloring, imaginative landscapes and turbulent, often violent marine paintings. I knew about the marine paintings and we can see that there. Hmm. Imaginative, English romantic. There's all this new energy here. There's a page of swords, there's a page of wands, like you're going embarking on a new journey, or there's a new spark in your life, or there's a new um, there's a newness, there's an excitement, there's a there's something possibly being very renewed, or you're at the beginning of a big long new cycle. Okay, so this could be, you know, if you've just finished your PhD, yeah, you're at the start of a whole new life, you know. Um, do I need to ask anything else? I'm kind of feeling complete, but I let's let's ask a little bit more about. All right, who who are you sending this love to? Let's see, just one last message about this. Justice. Mm, okay. Well, maybe there's. I don't know, I feel like you send this love out and it's going to come back to you multiplied. Something like that. That's, that's what I'm seeing here. 
let's see quote wise let's see what's going on shall we shall we do the book oracle i tried it just earlier and it was very long and <laughs> i'm not sure how i liked it let's see let's try it okay let's go here is it short if it's not short i won't take it all right i want a short one no these are all long come on it's got to be a short one. Ooh, that's short let's go for this if he did wrong the harm is to himself but perhaps he did not do wrong. Okay, number 38. I'm underwhelmed here. <laughs> this does not seem to really be matching what's going on here. Did we have a he? We didn't really have anybody, is what I'm seeing. It's all very abstract. But anyway, this could be a message for someone, so let's keep it by Marcus Aurelius. If he did wrong, the harm is to himself, but perhaps he did not do wrong. And that, you know, there is something in here because when mum and I were talking about this the other day that like what is right and what is wrong we've got justice here and we've got the weighing scales we might as well what is right and what is wrong the more that you the deeper you go into what is right and what is wrong this happens to me anyway the deeper I go into that the more I turn to philosophy and you just end up with lots of questions it, I don't know the more I look for right and wrong the less I find it and if you live on a very surface level of life you can find right and wrong. You can say, well, he's bad and he's good and she's good. And you can do that. And if you're just on the surface, you can. You can draw these lines and boundaries and all that. But if you, the moment you go deeper, and I think you are asked to be going deeper or something, like you find that there's just, well, when you go very deep, you, you, that all there is is love. <laughs> so there's no right and wrong when, when there's love, right? Uh, let's take a quote from here and then I think we're just about done group number three and look at that the sun is well it's not coming out yet but it's still actually a bit dark out there but it's at least peaceful and when I walk to the shops I won't be rained on so that's always good <laughs> all right okay let's see we've got some water here of course we do we've got Turner here right so let's see we've got a horse in a boat okay we've got Turner as well fantastic We've got Lewis Carroll and it says one of the deep secrets of life is that all that is really worth doing is what we do for others yes that's true and that's love that's giving and that's that's all that matters it, it really and that, that's that's how I see life it's like and Lester Levinson talks about this a lot as well that when he looked at his love life and he saw all the girlfriends and whatever and he said that um he didn't experience the greatest feelings when he, someone was loving him. He said he felt the greatest feelings and the greatest love when he was loving somebody. And yeah, I get that. I think that's really true. And that's the fun of life. The fun of life is like the romantic thing you do for somebody or the loving thing you do for someone or the kind thing you do. Like that's that's all that we have, you know? And that's I think that's all that we're judged on as well. I think we're judged on what we do, you know? And if you do a lot of secretly loving things, like just loving someone, oh, there goes the, there goes the lawnmower. <laughs> um, if, you, if you secretly love someone from afar or whatever, I mean, that's, that's bound to just bring some good thing your way or something. I don't know. Okay, well, that, that's not a quote. That's a guide to your little box of affirmations. So we'll put that over there. <laughs> we'll get one more and then we're done. All right, let's see. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, we've got two. All right, we'll be very quick. Very, very quick. Group number three. You're very lucky. All right, so this is here. Ralph Waldo Emerson, cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes to you and to give thanks continuously yes we've had that come up in all three groups this thing about gratitude appreciation all those beautiful energies all right the inner fire is the most important thing mankind possesses yes again this is about giving this inner fire that's you that's the sun that's the sun position in your chart that's where you give from it's all about giving so group number three just keep giving i think you're doing amazing i think you're giving a lot through your work already anyway you're doing a huge amount and it sounds like there's just a little something extra maybe you're beaming some love to a sibling or a friend or somebody in your circle all right well thank you so much for tuning in 
Let me know how you got on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.